Okay, we'll look at inserting or embedding Google Docs into um, posts in Blogger. So let's just have a look at an example of one first. If we click on presentation, okay, and um, we just scroll down, we can see that here, this is what is meant when you talk about embedding a document. In this case, it's a PowerPoint or a presentation. Um, but I'm going to use Google Docs to show you how you can do that. It's actually much more straightforward to embed a presentation because you just choose medium size and it's an immediately the right size for this template anyway. Okay, it's worth noting that depending on the template you're using, you might have to adjust the width of your document. Um, you can see here this line. Okay, so you've got two columns. If anything's wider than this column, it's going to cover this side and it's not going to look very good so anyway let's go back to the start so we create a new post okay um, we'll call this one tester okay we type our reflection and then we decide we're going to put the document here so first thing is change to HTML by clicking here okay you can see that there's pretty much no difference but this is where you can insert code and that is important so you go to your Google Docs and choose a document. So in this case, I'll choose a word process document tester. Okay. Um, what you need to do is go to publish to the web. Click on that. Okay. This one's already publishing. So I'm just going to stop it so I can show you what it would look like. So go to share. Click on this arrow at the right hand side publish to the web, make sure there's a tick in this box because this means if you make a change to the document the changes will be shown in your blog. Start publishing. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Here we have the embed code so we just take that, copy, close, back to our blog. Okay. Make sure in HTML remember click where we want to put the document and paste the code. Okay, let's not forget about our labels. So we'll say that this one was a story. We'll call it creative writing. Just to make sure everything's okay, let's preview. Okay, there's my reflection. There's my document. Now my document, as you can see, isn't quite right because we want it to be visible. So we can use all this space right over to the line. Okay, so we'll go back, we'll close the preview. Let's go back. And in this code, which you pasted from the document, it says iframe. Okay, so after iframe, put your cursor, put a space, and type width, W-I-D-T-H, equals inverted commas. Let's put 550 and then inverted commas again and put a space height h-e-i-g-h-t equals inverted commas and let's put 600 close inverted commas and that's it okay if we go to compose it shows us now that it's much wider okay again we can preview it just to check let's have a look that's much better when the visitor comes to your site now, they can scroll this bar across a little and they'll be able to see the full document. So let's close the preview again, go back to our blog and publish the post. Okay, let's view the post just to make sure everything's okay. Okay, so let's just move it over. Oh, there we go. All the text is in the middle now and your visitor can easily read it. Okay, now one thing that's worth noting is that this document, this tester document, is actually not in A4, which is what you're probably used to. So if you want to publish a document in your blog, go to File, Page Setup, okay, and choose B5 for the paper size. That will work if your width is the 550 that we put into the example. So you just click OK, make sure it's saved, and that's it. Your post is there.